गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे आई कंटिन्यू लास्ट लेक्चर इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव ऑप्टेन द रिलेशन बिटवीन कार्डिशियन कोऑर्डिनेट टू स्पेरिकल कोऑर्डिनेट एंड रिवर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इक्वेशन इन विच वी हैव टू रिलेटेड द कॉर्डिनेट्स or spherical to cartesian so the first is r equal to root x square plus y square plus z square then we write y upon x equal to Then we we'll take y upon x. This y upon x is equal to r sine theta sine phi upon r cos phi sine theta. So here r r get cancelled, and this. sin theta sin theta get cancel so we get this is sin phi upon cos phi equal to say <coughs> tan phi okay then write this therefore tan phi equal to y upon x so write this phi equal to tan inverse y upon x right so then this equation first <coughs> this is equation second then next we calculate z upon r equal to cos theta therefore cos theta equal to z upon r Right, then right. Theta equal to cos inverse zeta upon r. Then we substitute the value of r from equation first. That is equal to cos inverse zeta upon root x square plus y square plus z square. Okay. So equation first, equation second. This is equation third. So equation first, second, and third give the relation between spherical coordinate to Cartesian coordinates. Okay. Then next we consider transformation equation. transformation equation between cartesian to cylindrical coordinates okay so here we have to derive the relation between cartesian to cylindrical coordinate called as the transformation equation so for that we consider cartesian coordinate system having coordinate x y z so this is x axis this is y axis and this is z axis having origin o then we consider for take point p Having Cartesian coordinate x y z and cylindrical coordinate rho phi z. Okay. Right. Then we draw here projection P two 
or xy plane so this is the projection pq on xy plane so we join here line oq so this is angle phi this is also angle phi then we join this line or draw perpendicular p o dash on z axis so o dash p is distance we consider as rho then we have to draw perpendicular q n on x axis and q m on y axis so i will draw here this is n and this is m okay so here uh, o dash p is equal to rho this is angle phi and third part is z that means z is the distance along the z axis so it is equal to p2 so we show here this distance is equal to say z that is equal to p2 then we write the coordinate that is x equal to say on that this x coordinate in terms of on then y coordinate equal to say om and z coordinate equal to say p2 okay p2 then to find the value of this on from triangle n o q right so right here this x equal to on equal to so here is angle phi and we have to calculate this on and we know the sign is oq so here is the angle cos right so all right oq cos phi therefore write this oq this oq is equal to o dash p right and this is equal to rho so right here o dash p cos phi equal to rho cos phi so equation we write this first this is the x coordinate related to spherical sorry cylindrical coordinate and we take y equal to o m so equal to so we have to calculate here o m and we take side this o q so angle is here so this is the side so write this o q sin phi again we substitute o q as o dash p and that is equal to rho so write directly rho sin phi equation second then last is z equal to p q that is equal to z this is the third so equation for second and third are the transformation equation between cartesian to cylindrical then we take a reverse transformation so for that right here x square plus y square equal to we substitute the value of x and y with square so this is rho cos square phi rho square cos square phi plus rho square sin square phi so equal to rho square in bracket cos square phi plus sin square phi equal to rho square therefore right rho equal to root x square plus y square again we have this equation for <coughs> okay so this is the coordinate theoretical coordinate rho in terms of cartesian coordinate right then next we take y upon x equal to what is the value of y rho sin phi and this is the rho cos phi so rho sin phi upon rho cos phi right this that is tan phi 
tan phi therefore phi equal to tan inverse y upon x so equation number <coughs> phi okay this is the next coordinate that means relation between phi and cartesian coordinate that tan inverse y upon x and last is z equal to z equation number 6 so this equation 4 5 and 6 gives the relation between cylindrical coordinate to the cartesian coordinates the next part we consider general curvature coordinate systems so this is the important point which we have to study <coughs> general curvature coordinate system so before that we know that any point in a space is fixed with a cartesian coordinate x y z and these coordinates are mutually perpendicular to each other that means the position of point p in space can be fixed by using cartesian coordinate system having coordinates x y z okay so these coordinates <coughs> or these axes x y z axes are mutually perpendicular to each other okay so these cartesian coordinates are related to the new quantities called u1 u2 u3 so the relation between <coughs> or relation between this cartesian coordinate to the new quantities are given by equation that is x equal to x of u1 u2 u3 y equal to y of u1 u2 u3 and z equal to z of u1 u2 u3 like this so this is the first set which is give relation between that is cartesian to new quantities called curvilinear coordinate system or curvilinear curvilinear coordinates okay then where we solve this equation for u1 u2 u3 then we obtain new relation that is u1 equal to u1 of x y z u2 equal to u2 of x y z and u3 equal to u3 of x y and z so this is the second set which give the relation between <coughs> curvilinear coordinate to cartesian coordinate so set first and set second are called transformation equation between cartesian to curvilinear and curvilinear to cartesian okay then if we consider the curvilinear coordinate system then each point in a space is associated with a set of coordinates called as u1 u2 u3 that means in a space every point is associated with a set of coordinates u1 u2 u3 and these coordinates are called curvilinear coordinates okay now the point in a space is associated with a set of coordinates u1 u2 u3 and through this point p that means if we consider point p in a space so this through this point p there passes three surfaces and these three surfaces are u1 equal to a 
that is means constant u2 equal to b it is also constant and u3 equal to c it is also constant <coughs> okay that means through each point p there passes three surfaces and these three surfaces are u1 u2 u3 and these all are constant so we name this a b and c okay so these three surfaces are curved in nature so they are called as curvilinear surfaces so i write here u1 u2 u3 are curved in nature and here is they are called curvilinear coordinate surfaces okay they are called curvilinear coordinate surfaces so we draw here diagram then with that diagram you can understand what is curvilinear coordinate surface and their coordinates so for that again we consider cartesian coordinate system having coordinates x y and z and origin o okay then we take here consider here point p and we so take this q3 curve then this one is u2 curve and this is u1 curve okay then C E one cap. Then we write this E two cap. This is E three cap. Then we denote this as curve. So I take here dotted lines. Like this, then we have this U1 surface, U3 surface, and this U2 surface. Okay. So here we have considered Cartesian coordinate system having coordinate x, y, z and origin O. And for the curvilinear coordinate system, we have to consider that is three surfaces. U1 surface. u2 surface and u3 surface these three surfaces intersect or passes through point p giving three surface that is u1 u2 u3 surfaces okay and these three surfaces when intersect to each other that gives the coordinate curve that means u1 surface u2 surface and u3 surface when intersect to each other which gives the coordinate curve so right here u1 u2 u3 are the coordinate curve 
quadrant curves. Okay. How we obtain the quadrant curves? That means when surfaces U1, U2, U3 intersect to each other, that gives three curves called as U1, U2, U3 curve, and these curves are called curvilinear coordinate curve. So this is the curvilinear coordinate curve. Curvilinear coordinate. Okay, then we have to define here what is surface, what is curve, and what is axis. Okay, so we consider first surfaces. On each surface, one coordinate is constant and other two are variables. That means if you consider any surface, on that surface, one coordinate is constant and other two are variables. Okay, so you will consider the U1 coordinate is constant and U2, U3 are variables. Then the surface is called U1 surface. That means here you write U1 surface. What is U1 surface? That is U1 coordinate is constant and U2, U3 are variable. So right here U1 constant and u2 u3 are variables okay similarly you can define u2 surface and on u2 surface u2 coordinate is constant and other two are variable same for u3 surface on which u3 is constant and other two are variables okay similarly to define coordinate curves that means the coordinate curve on which one coordinate is variable and other two are constant ok so we have to define curvilinear coordinate curve ok so we define u1 curve. What is u1 curve? The u1 curve on which u1 coordinate is variable and other two are constant. That means u1 variable and u2, u3 are constant. Okay? So this is called u1 curve. Similarly, u2 curve and u2 curve is the curve on which u1 is variable u2 sorry u2 curve on which u2 is variable and u1 u3 are constant and u3 curve u3 curve means u3 coordinate is variable and u1 u2 are constant so this definition of curvilinear coordinate curves and career partner surfaces are most important because they are asked in exam right then to define next that is a coordinate axis coordinate axis okay and this coordinate axis means tangent drawn to the coordinate curve so this is U3 curve, sorry, U2 curve, this is U3 curve, and this is U1 curve. So, through point P, when we draw tangent to respective curve, that gives the curvilinear coordinate axis having unit vectors E1 cap, E2 cap, and E3 cap. Okay, so this is the definition of coordinate axis that means tangent drawn to the each curve through point P that gives the coordinate axis called as the curvilinear coordinate axis on which there are three unit vectors E1 cap, E2 cap and E3 cap. Okay? So with this lecture
I stop here. Thanks.